Hi. You know what? I'm more excited than you. It looks like as if I'm going to the AIMS exam. <laughs> All right. Now, the dreaded topic. What's that? Squint. Okay, now squint, you also need to know, is also called as strabismus, right? It's also called as strabismus because I invariably get doubts, questions online, offline, in classes. Ma'am, you have strabismus. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. What did you study? What all did I teach you? They list out the entire thing. They tell me this, 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 squint. Huh. Um, but strabismus nahi pada hai. Okay. So to end that big confusion, squint and strabismus mean the same thing. All right. Okay. So on that little cheeky note, let's start. I'm going to give you something like a dictionary now. Okay. So we're going to start with, you have to know some terms with respect to squint so that you will understand things better as we start using these terms. Now, what are these terms that I want you to know? Number one, as you see, is ortho. Now, what is ortho doing in ophthal? Now, ortho itself Okay. I didn't say anything in between, so we are continuing from where we left off ortho okay so i just said what is ortho doing in ophthal now ortho itself means straight now people who attended my classes know that i'm a little english freak you know i know i want to break down the root of origin or the root or the origin of words so that way it makes my life simple so i try to transfer that simplicity onto you also okay so that should be a little contagious so ortho itself means straight so that means when I say ortho, okay, let's forget what is coming after that. Ortho means straight. So that means if you look at somebody's eyes and both of the eyes appear parallel, they are apparently, okay, we don't know what is in store for us, but when it appears straight, it is ortho, all right? Now, what is ezo? Now, before we even go to ezo, can we do exo? You know, all of us know what is exo. Yes, we know exoskeleton, endoskeleton. I think we've been doing that since class 5 or class 4 or class 6 so exo means outside you know that outside so what is happening to the eye the eye is deviated outside so outward deviation now can i be a little more scientific than an outward deviation so this is your divergent squint right so divergent squint so when the eye is outside okay so it is deviated outside i call it exo so what is ezo ezo means an inward deviation okay inward deviation which is a convergent squint so it looks as if the eyes are converging towards the nose okay so that is a convergent squint now this is the you know what would i say i keep on using that same word the real 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 basic okay so you've got ortho iso exo now the next thing is we don't stop with saying iso or exo we say something more than that so we say isophobia we say isotropia now let me go to what is a phobia and a tropia now I'll start with a tropia Okay, now we need to know two terms, tropia and we need to know phoria. Okay, we need to know tropia and phoria. Now, what is a tropia? Okay, now for you to remember, okay, just for you to remember, I'm using some real thoda faltu analogs, okay, some useless analogs, but you can remember it. Now, let's say Photropia and phoria. So when I say phoria, it somewhat resembles phobia. Okay, somewhat. Now you might think I'm crazy. Yeah, I am crazy. That's why I'm teaching you guys at this odd hour. So phobia. Okay. So phoria and phobia. Now let me ask you a simple question. Do you have any idea of what phobia I have? Do you have any idea? No. 
you don't have right so my phobia is right now hidden i appear like you know i can be never uh, like totally fearless kind of a picture that i'm giving you all right so phobia means it's totally my phobia is hidden right now nobody knows what phobia i have although i don't really have any phobias and nobody knows it so phobia is hidden or can we use a better term than hidden yes we can use latent okay so it is a latent squint okay but that so why i am using this phobia is my phobia is not going you will never know my phobia unless say now i have let me give you an example suppose i have a phobia for chikkal lizard palli okay i have a phobia now as long as there is no lizard in this room i am not going to you don't know what whether i have this phobia or not and somebody who wants to you know bring out this fear in me and expose me as a coward is going to bring one chipkali down there and put it there now i'm going to screech squeak do all this nonsense running around and then you know madam has a phobia for lizard yes so that means till now it was hidden and it becomes obvious so it is phobia means a hidden squint so when you see that person right away you don't know you just fall for the person you think oh my god is so handsome she is so beautiful so pretty eyes are straight yes so it is a phobia maybe they have a squint we don't know at that point now what is a tropia okay so tropia means it's manifest okay it's a obvious obvious okay so can i use a better term for this yes i can use a better term manifest so when you see the person itself he is squinting he or she, she is squinting so tropia is a manifest squint and phobia is a latent squint so can we do away with this phobia so it's no longer on my board now so now you know what is a tropia what is a phobia is that clear now what is so am i going to just say tropia he has a tropia he has a phobia no i'm going to be really specific about that now how specific about that now supposing now let me just show you this picture can you see this picture i hope you can now let's say okay let me draw draw this now you think that is phobia okay now let's say like this okay now do you think there is a squint is any eye converging or diverging no so apparently it is ortho apparently it is ortho yes so maybe there is a phobia we don't know but right now it is ortho now, let me explain to you some tropias okay so let me just show you some pictures rather than me drawing something to you i hope you can see what this is Okay, now let's see the first picture. Now the first picture here shows you something absolutely straight eyes, so that's a normal ortho. Now come to the second picture here. Now the second picture you can see this eye. Okay, this eye is straight, whereas this eye is convergent. Okay, so that means the right eye is convergent. So how are you going to call this second picture? How are you going to label it? Okay, my labeling will be. right eye is a convergent squint what do i call convergent squint eso yes so it is a right eso is it a tropia or a phobia now something is obvious it's staring at you so what is it it's going to be a tropia so how do i label this second picture this one i'm going to call it as a right eso tropia all right right eso Tropia. I hope you got this example right. So I'm going to just draw that one thing that I explained to you. So let's draw that and get it right into our brain box. So here you see this eye convergent. So this is my right, and this is my left, and here is my nose, and you can see a right convergent squint. So this eye is convergent. So what do I call a convergent squint? I call it a eso. And is it hidden or is it manifest it's not latent right it's obvious manifest so i'm going to call this tropia now which eye has this esotropia is my right eye so have you got this right esotropia 
it's just that simple okay now let's see if we have another example okay so now i'm going to show you this picture okay now look at this third picture down there okay look at the third picture now you can see that the right eye is deviated outside all right right eye is deviated outside whereas the left eye appears absolutely straight now you tell me is it a tropia or a phoria it's a tropia because it is staring at you obviously and which eye is it it is the right eye it is the right eye so right exotropia so what is this one this picture is a right the third one from above it is a right exotropia all right so we've got right exotropia right exotropia so you see both the eyes now this side is absolutely straight and this side is divergent right divergent squint okay so this right divergent squint i'm calling it as right exotropia i hope you understood this bit okay so it's really easy now somebody has posted a question for me cover uncover test for phoria okay now let me come to this cover uncover picture now let's take a straight eye okay now always um, okay let me just give you a life example for you to understand this cover uncover test all right now what, how are we going about this okay now say i am there are so many people watching me okay now i'm going to talk to you about this cover uncover Yes. Okay. Now, before we even go to cover uncover test, I want you to understand why we are doing this. Okay. Now, let's imagine people are watching me. Now, when people are watching me, do you think I can do something? Say, I have something really precious or something that I like, which is lying down here, and I want to pick it up. But for you know, for sake of decency, or people are looking at me, or whatever, whatever, whatever. i choose not to touch it okay so now i look like a very seedha sada sharif ladki okay or aurat or whatever you want to call me now people are going away there's nobody to monitor me uh, what will i do i chup chap go and take that thing yes or no yes the moment i feel there's nobody around me i'm going to chup chap go and so that is going to expose my hidden something okay something all right so same way now my eyes are straight yes my eyes are straight now if i close one eye says this is the eye which has a tendency to go out okay tendency to go out that is an exophoria but when i seeing straight there is the stimulus coming in such a way there is a plus or minus stimuli for all the muscles that to maintain binocularity my eyeballs remain straight but now when i close one eye what does this chore do under beneath the cover it goes outside because it is, has a say for example exophoria so now i have covered it now under cover what has happened my right eye has gone out now when i take it off what will happen it will come back so now i'm going to catch it right handed you got it so same way i'm sitting in this room people are around me i'm chup chap sitting very quiet very nice girl but the moment people are going out i just make sure nobody is here and i reach out for that stuff whatever stuff but suddenly i hear the door open and i'm like okay i'm back and again the good nice sweet girl got it but still that person has seen me okay caught me red handed so now when i cover the eye under cover goes out so when i uncover i see it coming back so now i have picked up this exophoria yes so whoever asked me devanshu cover uncover for phoria yes sir so it is to bring out a phoria yes to detect a phoria you have this cover uncover test i hope this is as simple as possible now that you know eso and exo let me introduce to you two more terms because it's not just the inward and outward variation that happens 
we also have hypertrophia and hypotrophia now that you know what it is i really don't have to tell you what exactly hypo means below so that i is a little down and hyper means it is deviated up okay upward deviation and downward deviation hyper and hypotropia now is this basic thing of squint clear i'm going to stop here and resume another video because i know people will be watching it henceforth so i don't want to make it a really long video i have make it into short ones so that you can quickly go through things okay guys now thank you so much for your patience listening bye bye